only way he can keep it is at the month of a beat. And then again, he had to count these for weeks because in Acts 16, he again wanted to make sure he was at Pentecost for another feast day. The things of unleavened bread are the feast of unleavened bread. To understand exactly what the feasts are, and are they the same thing as Sabbath, we will look at Leviticus 23. Now, we're thinking of Leviticus 23. We can start at 6. And again, it says the Passover comes first. And you will eat unleavened bread for seven days. And then we'll count the feast of weeks. Again, on Leviticus 23, it's the same thing. We have the feast of unleavened bread. We know the feast and the Sabbath days are the same. So if we look at Leviticus 23 and 2, it says, Keep my feet. We also look a little bit further on when uh, Paul gives the first Corinthians 5, 7, 8. It says, Keep the feast. Again, the feast days are the same day as Sabbath days. We have to give more credence to the Holy Spirit to lead us in all truth. We understand with feast, with Sabbath, when we hear in different tongues, we know exactly what the Spirit is wanting us to lead us into. The same way the Spirit led Paul in Acts 20 and 6, talks to the time in the days of unleavened bread. He kept them for seven days, as the scripture will show you there. And as well, he went ahead and continued with Pentecost. Now, if you look at Leviticus 23, again, 23, 6, it lines up exactly the same way as all of them. In Leviticus 16, Leviticus 23, it is all the same speech. Line upon line upon line, priest of the top 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 Bible was commanded to do. Make sure they take over um, Passover at the same time and count the feast of weeks at the same time. That's what Paul did. There is no difference from that. Um, to say that in communion every Sunday, there is no other scripture in the whole Bible that supports that. But again, that's the teaching of men. How do we know that we're commanded to do that? We can look at Matthew 26 19, disciples. Jesus appointed them to. Uh, disciples did as they were commanded to. Our Lord and Savior taught them the Passover, Lord's Supper, and the apostles continued in that. Again, uh, we see, and I think it's Luke 26, 1, that the Passover is the days of unleavened bread. Again, that's coming from our Lord and Savior. Not two different things, they're one thing. The Church of Christ also teaches that the Sabbath days are done away with. The Sabbath days were only made for Israel. The Sabbath days had nothing to do with after the cross. And after our Lord and Savior died, there are no more Sabbath days. You can't see them. You're not commanded to keep them. But that's another form of it. Acts 15, 20, 21 tells you, you know, how to learn, and you should do it every Sabbath Paul tells you in 1 Corinthians 5, 7, 8, that Christ, our Messiah, is our Passover, therefore keep the feet. Same words that are, are God, Yahweh. Same words he spoke for, keep my feet. He says, keep the feet. He says, the feet are the Sabbath day. That box, we can look at Exodus 12, 17. Our, our God, Abba, our Father, so this is a key thing. This order to keep the Sabbath day forever. There is no expiration date. There is no official day. You don't have to keep it anymore. You can keep it throughout your generations forever. Understand. I have children. I am teaching Sabbath day. And it's going to go another generation forever, Lord willing. Not my generation stop when we get to the cross and stop. Throughout the scriptures at 18, at 15, look at Acts 12 and 3. Here, for the rest again. Went up the feet and were up the days of the living bread. Peter was keeping days of the living bread. These are all Sabbath days. 
have learned and decided to. Spirit, Jesus, Yeshua, Pope, Peter, Steve, I'm sorry about that, Pope Paul, each, every Sabbath day, a year and a half, of Acts 18, every Sabbath day, a year and a half, to Greek, to town, to Jews, everyone. And they come out to hear his teaching on one side and they wait until the very next side to hear the teaching again. Now on a Sunday, this is after the club. 